क्लास टेन्थ रंगारे प्री फाइनल एक्सामेशन पार्ट ए सो द एक्साम वॉज ऑन लाइक टेन टू मे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हियर सेक्शन वन ग्रुप ए गन ग्रुप ई सो इन ग्रुप ए सिक्स क्वेश्चन वी नीड टू अटैम्प एनी थ्री सो हियर आई सॉल्व ऑल द क्वेश्चन सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ए वन टू फाइव सेवन एट बी इज फोर सेवन एट लेवन we need to find a minus b a minus b so a is 1 2 5 7 8 8 is is 4 7 8, 11 so in this the common terms you can cancel now see here 7 8 7 8 so whatever is left on the left side we need to write that is a minus b now 1 2 5 is the answer next we need to find b minus a So first write b, four seven eight eleven minus one two five seven eight. Now here seven eight seven eight common elements will get cancelled. So what is left on the left side? Four and eleven. So a minus b is one two five, and b minus a is four eleven. Next question. If a and b are two points on x-axis and y-axis. See if the points are on x-axis, so a is on x-axis, so I'll take x comma zero, and b is on y-axis, so I'll take on y-axis zero comma y, and seven comma three is the midpoint. Seven comma three is the midpoint of a and b. So midpoint formula is seven comma thirteen. So midpoint formula is x one plus x two by two, y one plus y two by two. So here. A is x comma zero, B is zero comma y, and P is seven comma thirteen equals x one y one x two y two. So x plus x two is zero by two, zero plus y by two. So here seven comma thirteen. Okay, now see if you'll see here seven comma thirteen equals x by 2 and y by 2 abscissa equate with abscissa and ordinate with ordinate so 7 equals x by 2 2 into 7 14 equals x and uh, 13 equals y by 2 2 times 13 26 equals y so a is x comma 0 so the point a is 14 comma 0 and the point b is 0 comma y so that is nothing but 0 comma 26 In this way, you need to solve this. Next one, find the zeros of the polynomial 6x square minus x minus 2. So here, we need to find the zeros of this polynomial. So 6x square minus x minus 2 equals zero. 6 times 2, 12. So 12 factors are like 1 into 12, 2 into 6, 4 into 3. I need Minus one, so minus four plus three, so six x square minus four x plus three x minus two equals zero. In these two terms, I can take two x common, so I'll be left with three x minus two. In this, I'll take one common, so here it will be like three x minus two. So three x minus two into two x plus one equals zero. Now three x minus two equal to zero. 2x plus 1 equal to 0, so 3x equals 2, x equals 2 by 3, 2x equals minus 1, x equals minus 1 by 2. The same next one. So the zero sir, x equals 2 by 3, x equals minus 1 by 2. Next one. Problem is on logarithm. Fourth question. See x square plus y square equals 8xy. Now see here, here is most important. If you will see this part, here you need x minus y. By seeing this, you can decide that you need to subtract 2xy on both the sides. So x square plus y square minus 2xy, 8xy minus 2xy. So if you will do here, if you will see, it is in the form of like a minus b whole square, a square plus b square minus 2ab. So I'll write a minus b whole square equals six x y. Now apply log on both sides. Apply log on both the sides. 
so if you apply log on both sides log x minus y whole square equals log 6xy so this is logarithm of power log a power m to the base x equals m log a to the base x so here 2 log x minus y here log a b c to the base x you can write as log a to the base x plus log b to the base x plus log c to the base x so with that log 6 plus log x plus log y see log 6 you can further you can split 2 log x minus y and 6 you can write as 2 into 3 so log x plus log y logarithm of product so 2 log x minus y equals log 2 plus log 3 log a b you can write as log a plus log b plus log x plus log y here log a b same formula log a b to the base x you can write as log a to the base x plus log b to the base x in this way we need to solve the problem here write set a in set builder form n belongs to natural numbers see 2n plus 3 if we substitute 1 2 into 1 plus 3 2 plus 3 which is 5 you cannot take 5 because x should be greater than 10 so take 2 2 into 2 plus 3 4 plus 3 this also you cannot take so substitute 3 2 into 3 plus 3 2 into 3 6 plus 3 9 so 5 7 9 next this also will not work out now take 4 2 into 4 because in place of n you are allowed to take only natural numbers so 2 into 4 8 plus 3 8 plus 3 is 11 so 8 plus 3 11 so you can take 11 next 2 into 5 plus 3 2 into 5 10 10 plus 3 13 so you will get the numbers here see 11 13 15 17 so on so set roster form is 11 13 15 so on 15 17 so on next question is find the 11th term from the end so 3 10 17 so on 206 here the first term is 3 common difference is a2 minus a1 10 minus 3 7 now see but they are asking from the end from the end so when you will start the series from the end the first term will be 206 and common difference will be same but with opposite sign because if you will take the series from here it is 7 so if you will start the series from the end it will be minus 7 so here 10th term they are asking sorry 11th term 11th term is nothing but a plus 10 d a is 206 plus 10 into minus 7 so 206 minus 70 that is nothing but 136 so the 11th term from the end is 136 what is the probability of getting a vowel if a letter is chosen at random from the word mathematics see m a t h e m a t i c s here see we have vowels like a e i 1 2 3 4 so here total vowels are 4 and total letters 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 total letters 11 so probability of an event is number of favorable outcomes number of favorable outcomes by total number of outcomes total number of outcomes so here probability of getting a letter vowel is 4 out of 11 so the answer is 4 out of 11 this is the seventh solution next one eighth one write the formula to find the median of a group data and explain each term in it so median formula is here l plus 
n by 2 minus cf by f into h here l is lower boundary of the modal class sorry median class lower boundary of the median class next n is total frequency total frequency cf is cumulative frequency preceding the median class cf is cumulative frequency preceding the median class cumulative frequency preceding the median class and f is frequency of the median class frequency of the median class and h is class size h is class size so all the terms in the formula we need to explain this next question the length of a shadow is 15 meters high now here see the length of a shadow of a 15 meter high cell tower so ab is a height of a cell tower and the length of the shadow is phi root 3 so ab is 15 meters so ab is here height of the cell tower which is nothing but 15 meters and uh, bc is length of the shadow bc is length of the shadow which is phi root 3 they are asking angle of elevation of the rays at the with the ground at the time so we need to find theta so theta opposite adjacent so i'll use tan theta ratio tan theta is opposite by adjacent here opposite is ab adjacent is bc so tan theta is 15 by phi root 3 phi times 1 phi times 3 so phi times 1 phi times 3 so here if we'll calculate this this values tan theta equals 3 by root 3 if we'll rationalize root 3 by root 3 so tan theta equals 3 root 3 by 3 3 3 cancel because root 3 into root 3 is 3 so tan theta root 3 you will get for 60 degrees so if you will compare theta is 60 degrees next question 10th one if cot a equals 4 10th one 3 cot a equals 4 so cot a equals 4 by 3 so we need to find cosec theta see two methods first you can do with the help of Pythagoras theorem a I'll take right angle at b so cot theta is nothing but adjacent by opposite so if angle is at a adjacent is 4 opposite is 3 I'll apply Pythagoras theorem to calculate the value of ac ac square is ab square plus bc square so 4 square plus 3 square 16 plus 9 which is 25 so ac square is 25 so ac is root 25 so ac is nothing but 5 units now they are asking cosec theta cosec a hypotenuse by opposite so here hypotenuse is 5 opposite is 3 so cosec a is 5 by 3 in this way you need to solve next the same problem see i can do it another method i can use identity okay if we we'll use the identity here cosec square a minus cot square a equals 1 so cosec square a is 1 plus cot square a 1 plus cot is 4 by 3 whole square so 1 plus 4 square is 16 by 4 square plus 16 3 square is 9 so LCM if we we'll take 9 9 plus 16 which is 25 by 9 so cosec a value 
root 25 by 9 which is nothing but 5 by 3 cosec a is 5 by 3 next question the curve surface area of a here is a, the curve surface area of a right circular cone we need to find curve surface area curve surface area of a cone is pi r n so for cone here diameter is 14 so radius is 7 height is 24 so we need to find l so l square equals h square plus r square so l square equals h is 24 square r is 7 square so l square is 24 is 576 7 is 49 so l is 625 l square is 625 l is root 625 so l value is 25 so 22 by 7 into radius is 7 slant height is 25 25 25 cancel 25 to 50 50 into 11 550 550 centimeter square is a curve surface area next siri tell Siri says any two right triangles are similar. Any two right triangles are similar. See if you take two right angle triangles. See, I'll take two right angle triangles A, B, C. One more I'll take. Here I'll take this angle is 60. This angle is 30. So A, B, C. Here I'll take isosceles. So if it is 45, 45. See, angles are not equal. In both the triangles, angles are not equal. As the angles are not equal, the triangles are not similar. Do you agree with her? No. Because if only with one angle, we cannot decide the triangles are similar. Because see the given example, the above example, the triangles are not similar. Because with one angle we cannot decide the similarity of triangles okay the same statement if they'll say two right angle isosceles triangle then the triangles are similar because if they'll say isosceles the angle the other two angles definitely they'll be 45 45 so all the angles will be equal then we can say the triangles are similar 